Hey, what's going on y'all? It's your boy Turnip, and I've got a different style of video today. So if you don't know me, and again, my name's Turnip, and I'm mostly known for playing Friday the 13th. I've, I've played that game for a while now, and I really like it. Um, and I recently got into Dead by Daylight, downloaded it on my Xbox, and been uh, having some fun with it. I'd say I've got about, just about a day worth of play time now, and oh my gosh, this community is probably one of the most toxic I have ever come across. So, introducing for the first time ever, Hate Mail with Turnip. I was a tad bit disappointed with the outcome. The salt continued to roll in, but the DDoS attacks never came. And they all fell into obscurity. So yeah, all of these people messaged me first. Please do not go and harass them. This mainly was just a little joke segment to kind of make fun of that. Um, but yeah. So again, I'm very new to this game. I've primarily been playing killer. I'd say about probably 22 of the 25 hours I have are as killer, and I've been really enjoying playing as killer. I would say a good 75% of the time after a game is over, I would get hate mail from people who had died or even people who had won people calling you trash, people calling you garbage, people calling you tunneler and camper, which it really baffles me. So this video is not made to insult anybody or start any sort of controversy. Um, I just really like to vent my frustrations and maybe find out a little more why the community is the way they are. So if you don't know tunneling, is a strategy people say is unfair and is not supposed to be you shouldn't do tunneling or camping and basically in dead by daylight when you throw a survivor onto the hook um, and you kind of wait around the hook or you go to the the generators that are close by and you keep kind of checking in on that one survivor um, people don't like that at all for some reason the killer's role is to kill all of the survivors or sacrifice them and the survivor's role is to well survive and if you look at it from a tactical perspective if you're checking in on some generators and you see that the survivor you just hooked is freed well why wouldn't you want to chase the weaker one and try to make your chances that much better i mean survivors have it's basically four on one they can do lots of things, split up, go to different generators, try to distract you. So, I mean, everybody's trying to give themselves as many advantages as possible, right? That's why everybody runs, uh, what's it called, dead hard. 
and the other one where I can't remember the name of it, but you pick it up and it when you pick up a survivor, you can like instantly free yourself. And there's a lot of disadvantages to hanging around a hook as well. Like if you're just waiting by one survivor, you're giving up the map control and they're doing generators on the far side and breaking up uh, into little groups and doing tasks, looking for your totems, that sort of thing. I don't think I've ever got as many messages in a video game as I have in this one. And I've only played it for a very, very short time. It's just quite amazing how often you do receive messages in this game. There seems to be this unwritten code of, of ethics that if you don't follow exactly will really trigger a lot of people. There seems to be this sense of, oh, you're not playing fair, this isn't how the game was supposed to be like, when if that was the case, I mean, they, they would have done something by now. I'm, this game's been out for what, like five or six years? You can't expect people to play by your rules, is what I mean. You can't go into a match and expect an opponent is going to give you some sort of easy way to win or allow you to have certain advantages. It's just not realistic. And at the end of the day, you only make yourself look like a fool when you message somebody and say, Hey, you didn't play the honorable way. You didn't play how I wanted you to play. And really, it's like, what, what do you mean? What way? There is no way to play. You play to win. You know, that's just me anyway. Some people play for different reasons. but So in Friday the 13th, the game... Uh, there is this technique that everybody hates and it's called slashing and you would always get called a slasher no skill uh, if you did a slashing attack which makes no sense because it's part of the killers arsenal and there is another option to kill survivors or kill counselors where if you perform the grab animation and you pick them up by your by by their neck you can do a kill animation that takes a little bit more time, um, but also that opens you up to unnecessary risk where they could have a pocket knife in their pocket and break out of your grasp, or someone could come around and hit you, and then you would be stunned. In some games, against a really good team, there is not much you can do at all. Uh, to, to stop those things so you have to resort to doing the very fast slashing kills or you're simply just gonna lose because they're not gonna allow you to do those types of things and this might push some buttons for some people but if you're getting caught in those kind of strategies then maybe you should learn to adapt learn to overcome Learn how you can use the killer's disadvantages against them. Maybe there is something you can do on the other side. And, you know, if you're by yourself, like if you're queuing solo, um, I'm a little more sympathetic because you don't really have the support of your team on your side. That is why I play killer, because I know that I do not like to rely on other people in that sort of a team situation. And at the end of the day, don't hate the player, hate the game. And that's what it is, and, you know, it's just a game. Just a game where you can blow off some steam and have some fun. Also, as I was recording this gameplay, um, I intentionally waited at the end screen to see if I got any messages, and lo and behold, I did. But I was surprised it was my first uh, ever good sportsman message and I really wanted to shout this guy out definitely send him a message or two and congratulate him on being such a nice guy uh, who's really refreshing to see but um, yeah I might do some more Dead by Daylight videos in the future if you guys want to see some more uh, I'm going to keep learning and try to uh, get better at the game myself but Thanks again for watching. It's a short one, but I uh, hope you liked it. Have a good rest of your day. Thanks.